I bought these studs. They're threaded rod, M8 by 1.25. That's a metric measurement. It's class 8.8, .8, which means somewhere over 100,000 PSI tensile. Cut them up with the grinder and cutoff wheel to about this size. And I'm welding them on. So I get a nice big fat weld. Putting them on is simple. I just put a clamp on it, put a spot weld here, and then I go all the way around after that. As you would expect, when I cut it with the grinder and the cutoff wheel, it buggers up the threads. So, I have this, which is a die, to recut the threads. This fits right over it. It's a one inch socket. And then I made this tool just to make the turning easy. You can get a tool like this for eight bucks, but I could make this for free in less than five minutes, so I figured why not. Uh, that wasn't bad. I didn't even need the socket for that one. This one has some welding splatter right there, so I probably will need the socket for this. Each threaded rod that was welded on is now bolted on. And that goes all the way around. And now I'm starting to put on the wood. And there's how the screws fit in. I haven't tightened them down very hard yet because I have to reassemble them later on. I don't want to strip the wood out. And on and on. These are steel washers with a coat of zinc on the outside, I think. So I'll have to make sure I give them a good coat of paint. I've been trying to get Woodlife Copper Coat Greenwood Preservative for the wood on the boat. It's a Rust-Oleum product. I really like Rust-Oleum. But this is my second attempt and the shipment doesn't arrive. Here's shipment attempt number one. April 23 it made it to Hodgkins, Illinois, but no further. Shipment number two, May 18th, made it to Hodgkins, Illinois, but no further. For this portion of the bulkhead, I didn't make any wood frames. I'm going to make it all out of metal. And so I just made a template out of a bunch of old file folders, and that's roughly how it turned. All of the metal frames are done up until the bulkhead here. Both sides of the bulkhead are in. I'm not sure if I'm going to make some more bulkhead up top or not. We'll get to that later. And now I'm working on all the metal frames that start from here forward. I switched from welding the bolt onto the bottom to welding it onto the side just because it was easier to fit it in and it gives me that extra, I don't know, quarter inch, half inch of space that I'll need for the floor in the forward compartment. There were some comments about the placement of the keel, which is going pretty far back on the boat. You can see the keel attachment point down there. So I'm thinking that I might add some extra fins on the front on each side, one on each side, so that I'll have a tripod for the boat to rest on when I want to ground it. Like let's say, like the way a westerly or a dual keel boat can sit on the ground. That's a long ways away, but I wanted to mention it because I'm reading all the comments, really appreciate them, and I appreciate any suggestions, ideas, and information you guys have. Thanks. I wanted to say a big thank you to all of the people who purchased challenge coins from SV Seeker. I got just a little over a thousand bucks out of that so far, and that was a complete surprise. My gratitude to you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.